declaration of a military and economic separation from the United States in favor of China and Russia continues to be a hot topic. Sherry Ann Torres tells how it has drawn mixed reactions from analysts, government officials, and even the United States itself. I announce my separation from the United States, both the military but economics also. The United States government is baffled by President Duterte's latest statements. White House spokesman Eric Schultz says there's been no official word from the Philippine government asking to alter or end bilateral economic and security ties between Manila and Washington, D.C. U.S. State Department spokesman John Kirby says Malacanang should clarify Mr. Duterte's pronouncements. Kirby adds the U.S. will not abandon its ties with the Philippines despite Duterte's latest declaration. I will say again today, we uh, remain rock solid in our commitment in the mutual defense treaty that we have with the Philippines. Some of the president's men tried to explain what Mr. Duterte meant. Separation is like, it, it, it's not an annulment, it's not a divorce. A recent social weather station survey found that 55% of Filipinos today have little trust in China. In contrast to the 66% trust rating garnered by the United States in the same survey. Political analyst Jaime Flor Cruz was in the audience when Duterte made the declaration. Flor Cruz, a visiting professor at Peking University, says even the president's supporters were surprised. I also heard some gasps uh, in the audience among some Filipinos, even those who support uh, Duterte. I, I don't think they were prepared or um, ready to hear such a, a, a stark uh, pronouncement. Some uh, supporters tell, told me that They'd like to uh, veer away from that word separation and instead they prefer to use realignment. Flor Cruz thinks the Philippines is risking too much in this gambit. For his part, former Foreign Affairs Secretary Albert Del Rosario stresses the need for the Philippines to ally with nations that share the same values as ours, like democracy, respect for human rights, and rule of law. Must, uh uh, consider that what is unfolding before us must be considered a national tragedy uh, which does not need to happen. Uh, it is our earnest hope that this most unfortunate declaration can be corrected. President Duterte's fearless declaration to cut ties with the U.S. left doubts and confusion to many. The general sentiment now is for the president's camp to clarify this as this involves not just the interest of the nation, but the future of Filipinos as well. Sherry Torres, ABS-CBN News.